Good Thursday morning. I'm 5 News meteorologist Stephen Elmore. We do have an update for that drought monitor. Every other Thursday we get that update uh, about our current drought like conditions and we were looking forward to this one because we did see significant drought uh, from the last drought monitor that we saw. So with this update, we got a little bit better. This is the current one we're looking at right now. And let's go ahead and take a look at the previous one. You see, uh, those are our drought like conditions from the last time they collected, which would have been last uh, Tuesday. So because of the rainfall that we saw this past weekend, we saw some relief out of that drought monitor. So taking a look at the last one, just so we can get familiar with it. Northwest Arkansas was in that deep red, which is level three out of four for our drought like conditions. Now much of the United States right now is seeing those drought like conditions because we haven't seen a lot of rainfall uh, across Northwest Arkansas and especially for uh, the River Valley in recent history. But now with this rainfall that came from this last weekend, now we started to relieve just a little bit. Let's take a look at that rainfall that we did get. This is everything that we got from last Wednesday night. We had rainfall Wednesday night all the way out until Monday morning, and that definitely helped out uh, with these drought-like conditions. If we take a look, we saw anywhere from around three to six inches of rain across Benton and Washington counties. And then if we go into Madison and Carroll counties, you see that deep purple, that uh, almost black color. Uh, that's upwards of four to seven uh, inches and even higher in some places. Now there are some mountainous areas in uh, Madison County that this rainfall landed, um, but it did help with these drought like conditions. So if we're taking a look at that four to seven inches across Madison and Carroll counties, let's then take a look at the previous map. You see Madison and Carroll counties are in that dark uh, red, which again is level three of what we uh, for our drought like conditions. But then if we go to our update version, you can see exactly where that rainfall hit. Madison County, only the northern portion of Madison County is in that level three now. We still are at level two, um, but Carroll County is still in that deep red and portions of Benton County are still in that deep red. Uh, the only other place that we have is Lafour County, uh, just outside of Poto, uh, is where also we're seeing that level three. The rest though is either in between that one to two range. Now it is still dry outside. We've had an extremely hot summer where we've seen several several temperatures uh, records break this summer where we've seen those heat index values well over 110 degrees. This is from that heat wave that we saw several weeks ago that where we saw a long stretch of days where we were seeing 100 degrees day after day after day. That's what put us in into these drought like conditions. We didn't see a lot of rainfall if we go back to late June into early July. Now with this heavy rainfall that we saw from this past weekend, that's going to start the process of getting us back out of these drought like conditions. So let's take a look county by county. Now we're going to start in Benton County. Uh, this again, this is we're looking at August 4th, the new updated list of our drought monitor. So county by county, Benton County. Let's take a look right there. We're seeing half level three, half level two. Again, Benton County had a flash flood warning this past Saturday where we saw anywhere from two to four inches of rain in just under an hour um, across Benton County. So that flash flood warning, uh, we didn't see a whole lot of flooding, just I-49 specifically uh, going both south and north was extremely uh, wet and a lot of cars were uh, having trouble staying on the road. But if we take a look at uh, the old map now, again, this is going to be uh, what it was before this rain uh, from this last weekend. You see Benton County's completely covered in that red. So this is the old map we're looking at right now, and you see how much relief that Benton County actually saw. Again, this is the old, this is the old map, and this is the new map. You see Benton County there is right in that orange. So we're still in level two right now, uh, hanging on to that level two just because it's been dry this summer. Even though we do see several inches of rain, it's not enough to get us completely out of those drought like conditions. If we bounce over to Carroll County, they're still in that red uh, for this updated version. And in our old version, again, they were still on that red. So Carroll County didn't see as much rain. Uh, if we look at that rainfall map, you can see that rainfall really just barely missed Carroll County. It was right on the edge there um, where we saw that heavy spot of rain anywhere from four to seven inches. Carroll County was just outside of that. So again, the drought monitor has still kept them in level three.
as we head on throughout the next two weeks. If we go to Washington and Madison counties, Madison County has seen a big update again. They were in that heavy red spot. Washington County, um, they were just uh, in that uh, level three for our drought like conditions. But now we're seeing both of those counties still left in level two, which is a good sign. Again, we're starting the process of getting out of these drought like conditions. We do have rainfall today. But this rainfall is not going to play a factor in this current drought monitor until we get an update by the time we get to the next one. Um, that will be in two Thursdays from now, two weeks from now. So for the drought monitor, again, we're looking at this, uh, the purple line one right now. This is going to be the old map. So we're taking a look at what it was two weeks ago. Northwest Arkansas, you saw Washington and Madison counties. Uh, Washington County is about half and half between level two and level three. And Madison County, you can see, is almost completely uh, in that level three zone, which um, the U.S. Drought Monitor classifies as an extreme drought. So we were dry. We were extremely dry uh, because of those excessive temperatures that we saw, plus that with the mixture of not a lot of rainfall. Um, let's take another look at, uh, let's go county by county here again and see where we're heading next. Let's go to Crawford, um, Franklin, and Johnson counties. They're all in level two. Saw some significant rainfall, not as heavy as Madison County did. You can see they didn't really change very much. They're still on that level two zone. Um, really, the big change that we're seeing is going to be across Benton, Washington, Madison, and Carroll counties, where we saw that flash flood warning in Benton County. And it's also where we saw anywhere from four to seven inches of rain across Madison counties. So that's the real big change that we saw from this update. We'll see with some rainfall returning to the forecast by the time our next drought monitor gets out if we'll be any different across um, some of our uh, counties like Crawford or Franklin or Johnson or Sebastian or Logan um, because right now it looks like they all pretty much remained the same if we're going between both drought monitors. Those counties pretty much are the same. Sebastian County, um, we're still seeing level two, level one. Now, the thing that is the difference, uh, not the difference, but the same actually, is Sequoia County. If you remember from about two and a half weeks ago now, we had a microburst where we saw five plus inches of rainfall in just an hour, two hours across Sequoia County. That's why you see that yellow spot there. And that yellow spot isn't even, uh, it's just abnormally dry. It's actually, there's zero level. There is some uh, dry uh, drought-like conditions in Sequoia County, but it's far better than Northwest Arkansas, like Benton and Carroll counties right now. So Sequoia County got a whole lot of rainfall a couple weeks ago. And if we take a look at the old map, they still left that the same. We still are seeing some dry conditions across Sequoia County. It's definitely not uh, as dry though um, when we get into that extreme drought like Carroll and portions of Benton County are seeing right now. Let's go back to our rainfall map and see where we can look next to try to make the connections on where this map was changed. Our next highest rain total was going to be in Logan County right over Paris. So if we go to our new drought monitor, you can see right over Paris in Logan County, um, they have dropped that to a level one uh, risk for uh, that droughts. And that's only considered as a moderate drought. So that one little spot in Logan County is where we saw that two to five inches of rain from this past weekend. This past weekend, again, if we're taking another look at uh, this rainfall that we saw, we saw one to three inches across um, LaFleur County. We saw uh, one to three across Sequoia uh, and into Sebastian. We saw that two to five plus in Logan County, which is similar, um, not as heavy as wind gusts, but if you remember another microburst we had in Paris that knocked out a lot of power, this was a lot of heavy rainfall. We didn't see as much heavy wind, which caused all those power outages, but some heavy rainfall definitely showed up on our update for our map. Now, our heaviest rain, again, is what was across uh, Benton, Carroll, Washington, and Madison counties. That's really the big update here. That's where we saw the biggest change um, from drought monitor to drought monitor. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one more time what our new one looks like. We're going to uh, keep going county by county here. Scott County, for the most part, remaining the same. Uh, we're still seeing half of that uh, 
level one, which is considered moderate, to level two, which is considered severe drought. So we are still very dry outside. We're going to need several days in a row with heavy rain to get us out of these drought-like conditions. LaFleur County, though, that's another big update for us, too. This is, again, we're taking a look at our current one, and we do have another uh, spot of that red, which is considered that extreme drought. Let's take a look at what last week's uh, update was, and they haven't changed it much. That's not very surprising because if we look at the rainfall that we saw this weekend, we only saw about one to three inches of rain. It wasn't enough to get us out of those drought-like conditions in LaFleur County. And we, again, we need that heavy rainfall. We won't see much changes until we get that three to six plus like Benton and Washington did, or we see that four to seven plus like Madison and Carroll counties did, um, Logan County, that two to five plus. That's what it's going to take to get us out of these abnormally dry conditions. So let's go back to our new update. I think we've covered most of the changes. Again, the big change is Northwest Arkansas, where they have dropped from extreme drought to severe drought. It's still dry outside. We're still seeing burn bans out there. But uh, for level three, which is considered that extreme droughts, our only counties are portions of uh, Benton County, Carroll County, and LaFleur County. The rest were in that extreme drought still, still in these dry conditions. Again, we're gonna need some more heavy rainfall by the time that next uh, update comes. And with some rainfall today, it's definitely helping out. Again, this rainfall that we're seeing early this morning is not going to help out this current drought monitor, but it's also, it's gonna lead to our next one. Hopefully we'll see some changes there, depending on how much rain we see for today. So our, um, our only abnormally dry spots in our viewing area right now is again in Sequoia County where they saw that microburst. The rest, mostly this map is still underneath a severe drought. The good news is, is that we're no longer seeing that deep red across Northwest Arkansas, um, where that we are in that extreme drought. And heavy rain this past weekend really uh, helped out a whole lot. So we're gonna leave you with one more look of our new drought monitor. We were hoping for a little bit better. It's still extreme drought across Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Um, River Valley is seeing some of that moderate drought, which is that level one uh, risk across Southern Sebastian County and into Scott County. Um, but for the most part, we're still dry outside. Big update was um, that Northwest Arkansas was dropped out of that extreme drought for the most part. And then uh, for those in Paris, in Logan County, you guys dropped down to as well to just a moderate drought, which is just a level one risk. So with some rainfall returning to the forecast, we're hopeful by the time we see the next update, that'll look a little bit better as we get closer and closer to fall. Uh, we're only 49 days away from the first day of autumn, so summer is slowly starting to wrap up. We still got some hot days left in the forecast, but this update for this drought monitor is exactly what we needed to see. We are not seeing a majority of our viewing area in that extreme drought anymore. Now we're just underneath that severe drought, which is level two out of four. Hopefully we'll continue to get better as we get closer to fall.